Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's back to school day yes, this week. Is. And today we are talking about how to teach our young ones about financial literacy as they gain experience spending responsibly. Oh, I love that. Please welcome entrepreneur and author D.L. Collins. Yes. Thank you guys so much. You know, it is so great to have you here because um, I, I think a lot of times, especially like my parents, they didn't really teach us about money early on, mm -hmm. right? And then if you had another type of set of parents, you mess around and been three years old with a light bill in your name. I'm just saying. So it's so great to have you here to talk to the kids about oh how God. to be responsible when it comes down to money. Oh, money. absolutely. You know, a lot, our parents just, a lot of them wouldn't talk. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, nobody sat down and taught them what credit was and how scores work until they became adults and yeah. they, they got penalties and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So why not teach them at key, as yeah, kids? Yeah, you know? absolutely. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. Absolutely. So your strong suit in school was math. Yes. At what point did you decide you wanted to be an author? I, I didn't know I was going to be an author, really. <laughs> yeah. right, so, you know, when you're in school, you, I just really wanted to just do numbers, carry a, a briefcase, and wear a suit. Oh, okay. But you wanted to be on Wall Street. That's, I just, that's all I wanted to do. Down to the stock market. <laughs> <line. laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, but I got into finance, <laughs> mortgages. And um, people were just so messed up when mm. they came to buy houses. Bad credit, couldn't balance a checkbook, uh, no savings. And wow. I said, and I asked everybody, what, did, what happened? And everybody would say the same thing. Nobody never taught me. Wow. When we were kids, we didn't know about this. Right, thing. right. So I said, you know what? How about I start a foundation? that teaches kids early so mm. when they become adults, they'll be ready. They'll be ready. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank That's you so happens. much for that. We need that. Oh, absolutely. We need how, that. Soon, how soon can the kids get in the program? Eight years old. Okay. Oh, okay. Eight years old. I'm going to sign mine up. You, you local? Oh, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. All right. <laughs> and and, and, and I, got, I got the books for, <laughs> right. your, for your good. kids, too. Speaking of the books, Sally Savers and the Adventures in Time. Yes. And your quote is, money is finite and time has a value. Why is it so important mm. for children to understand that? Money, and how do you convey that to them in a way that makes sense to them? You know what? Money... Money runs out, so you got to teach kids about savings. Perfect, perfect example. Look what just happened with the with the market crashing, mm -hmm. with the, uh, the the government crashing. Mm -hmm. If at eight years old somebody would sat down and taught these kids about saving, how credit works, and investing, when the the, the government shut down, they would have been in position mm -hmm. to to hold their bills and and not lose you know, uh, their cars and stuff like mm -hmm. that because I was seeing all that on the news. Yeah. So that's why it's important to start at eight because they understand the concept of money, learning money in school. Right, mm. right. So let's go ahead and teach them savings. I first. love that. Yes. And you also just released another book. Okay, Sally's back again. Sally Sally's Saver back again. <laughs> and the Egyptian Credit Caper. Yes. Now yes. tell us a little bit about that and what are you hoping that the readers get from it? You know what? Credit. Credit, mm. credit, credit. Um, teaching kids what is credit? Oh. What? How, how does penalties work? Yeah. What is interest? How does credit scores work? Yeah. Kids understand scores in school, so they should understand scores on credit. Mm -hmm. So we kind of put it together. So that's our that's our concept. We're yeah. trying to, That's I what we're like trying that. to do. So teach. the three Egyptian uh, credit capers that was like Experian, TransUnion. And <laughs> 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 I, I, yeah. They were posted. We're we gonna, we gonna make yeah. it. We're gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Exactly. Boy. And they were <laughs> right, it's right. Gonna it's going to be that today. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, so what are some uh, tips that kids for need parents, to know for yeah. parents? Yeah, what yeah. do we need to do? All right, first thing is savings. I tell, I tell my parents it's, it's a three-jar system. Okay. You, you know, tell your kids when they get the money, split it up three ways. Okay. One is savings, one is spending, and one is actually giving back or doing something nice for someone. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, you know, when holidays come, kids don't have money. They can't buy the parents nothing. But guess what? If you had a little savings put aside for doing something nice, you can go get your parents a card or a gift or something like that, or do right. something in the community for someone. That's right. true. So savings was the was the first one. The next one is understanding checking how a checking account works. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, now back then it was balancing a checkbook. Now it's online banking. Yeah. So now let's teach kids since they're all into these computers and these phones mm -hmm. and all, how to do online banking. Yeah. So that's what we teach online banking as well. So that was the second one. I think the third one was mm -hmm. we, we, we was credit, which mm -hmm. we talked about right. credit balancing a check uh, account. Yeah. Yes. Credit, interest, and penalties you don't want to learn about penalties by getting penalized right. yes and that's what a lot of adults have, that's how we learned about interest and penalties because we got penalized mm -hmm. so that was the the third one mm -hmm. i think the fourth one we'll was entrepreneurship <laughs> yes. yeah and that is my favorite yeah. oh my god it's my favorite we let kids create businesses um we give them fake money they have to promote their businesses to other kids and the kids yes. get to purchase their product, mm -hmm. so we teaching them entrepreneurship and how to like give that. back and keep and it in exactly, the exactly. Yeah, I, I like There's that so a lot. many elements, yes. so many elements. So that one, and then I think the last one was investing, yes. which 
that's a little bit more our high schoolers, mm -hmm. um, but they, they need to know as well. When y'all get ready to get out of college, try to buy a home first mm -hmm. before you go paying $1,600 for an apartment mm -hmm. a month. You know, just try it, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you do the savings, you learn credit, you got uh, all the other elements, then guess what? You'll be able to purchase a house when you right, graduate yes. from college. Let's talk a little bit about the festival you have coming up. Sally is back again. She's down so, to the festival. Yeah, Sally's <laughs> saying a learning festival. Let's talk a little about that. Oh, a little bit about good. it. It's going to be September 21st. September 21st. What can we expect? Okay, you know what? We, we're getting killed out here. A lot of kids aren't really taking learning. Learning is a chore, mm -hmm. and they don't want to do it. They're all into social media and these phones. So I said, we got to figure out a way to make learning fun again. Yeah. So this festival, instead of the, the kids buying tickets, they got to go through a fun financial workshop. They got to learn how to start a business. You got to learn about credit. You got to learn about uh, how the bank system works. In, it's it's going to be in fun games, yes. but that's how you get your tickets to do the fun stuff outside ah, in the festival. That's so smart. all of it's fun. Yeah. All of yes, fun. all of it's fun. Right. So now learning is fun. We're trying yes. to show you learning is fun. Making mm -hmm. learning fun again. Yes, yes. Yeah. What, if you make a hat. what if you're a parent learning at the same time as your child? Yeah, well, we tell them. We <laughs> tell them. get tickets to the festival Absolutely. Too, okay? <laughs> we, you know what? We want parents to come out. Yeah. We want parents to come out and sit with the kids and learn together. And they can build generational wealth. Yes, okay. together. Yeah, I'm trying to start a business with my uh, my middle schooler, and uh, I want to hand it off to her. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? So I can put her in position as well. Yeah. So, so bring it to Sally Fair. I love it. Come on, Sally I'll... is turning up. Thank exactly. you, DL. Exactly. We appreciate yeah. you exactly. so much. Exactly. Thank you so much for taking your talent and giving it back to the children. Mm, That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. For more information, for more information, be sure to purchase DL's book series by going to sallysaverseries.com.